hello and welcome back to my channel so today i've got another food shopping haul for you and i've been back to Lidl because it saved me so much money last week and i've done it again and managed to come in well under budget so it's definitely worth shopping around these stores so what i will do is take through everything i've bought and then at the end i will let you know how much i spent this week and what my meal plan is for the coming week if you do enjoy these kind of videos please make sure to hit subscribe there is a whole playlist of them down below and without further ado, let's go and have a look at what I bought this week. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the fresh fruit and veg. We've got some British Romaine Heart lettuce, a cucumber, some unwashed rocket, black seedless grapes. I got some sweet pointed peppers. These were 79p on offer. I got some carrots, two lots of apples. I got some Braeburn and some Braeburn. I'm pretty sure these were in two completely separate places one of them was supposed to be gala but there you go i've got two loads of braeburn apples some king edward potatoes because diddle's normal like own i don't know whatever they are non king edward potatoes were all green and not pleasant but these looked okay some baby plum tomatoes and some sweet mixed peppers i also got some mushrooms meat wise they had some good offers so i got some chicken thighs which i haven't bought for ages because we're tending to lean more towards chicken breast i actually prefer thighs they're much they're a much nicer meat i think but they're a lot higher in fat than chicken breast but i need this for a recipe so i bought some chicken thigh fillets i bought two lots of lean pork mince i'm going to make some lean burgers at the weekend for steve and i to have with some roasted veg and i'm also going to do a pork and collie mince dish I got some outdoor bread pork sausages. These are 95% pork and they were £2.69 for 10. I'm going to be doing a sausage like roast kind of thing with vegetables, gravy and that, but sausages instead of a joint of meat. I got two lots of chicken breast fillets because these were £3.35 for a kilo and I can portion these up, put them in freezer bags and then pop them in the freezer because that's a really good price. I also got two lots of beef burgers. I'm going to do the boys some burgers at the weekend. These were £1.95 and they're like, they are quite big, but they're quite chunky. So what I do is flatten them right down and put two in a bun with a cheese slice, which I haven't lost this week. If you watch my videos regularly, you'll know I made sure I have my singles. Um, but yeah, so I flatten them down and put them on the grill and then they become more like a kind of takeaway burger. And they were, did I say that? £1.95 for eight. So I've got two of those because, again, I can freeze one pack and it saves money next time I need burgers. I picked up two beef fillet steaks. We very, very rarely have steak, but this was £5.59. And little fillet steak is really, really good. So I thought Steve and I could have that one night. It's like a nice kind of date night. Maybe do some fancy potato and veg and put a movie on. And £5.59 is still cheaper than going out, isn't it? So... I thought I'd get those for a little treat. I got some sausage rolls, which were, well, how much were you? 59p, and I think you get eight in there. Um, boys will just have those heated up for, like, lunch at the weekend. I got some smoked ham, two lots of that for sandwiches and bits, and then also chilled. Let's come around to it. I got a pack of cheese slices um, and made sure I bought them home because last week I managed to lose a pack. These are 59p, which is quite a good price. I thought I'd try the Lidl soya yogurt. Well, it's not really yogurt. It's an alternative dairy-free yogurt because I really like the Tesco one. I'm not keen on the Alpro one, um, but I thought I'd try this and see if I like this one as much as the Tesco one. I put this on salads instead of mayo or anything. Just really, really like it. I've got some milk desserts. I buy these kind of things, or you know, like Rolo mousses, Aero mousses. I buy them pretty much every week, just in case the boys want something like a little snack after they've had dinner. Um, but what I found is I've been buying them and they've been just leaving them in the fridge because they're just not hungry. So a little tip is I've popped these in the freezer and when they take them out of the freezer, they just give them 10 seconds in the microwave and they're like a little pot of ice cream. And it works really well with the mousses and also the desserts, but make sure you microwave them for a little bit first, not 30 seconds like one of my boys did the other day and it turned into a hot dessert. Um, but yeah, really good tip. If you keep buying these things and finding, obviously not yogurts, but if you keep finding that they're not eating them, if you freeze them and heat them for 10 seconds, or if you don't have a microwave, just get them out five minutes before you want to eat them. And it's like a little ice cream and it stops you having to keep throwing them away, which is really annoying. 
I've got two lots of the sausage and ham tortelloni. I'm going to do a pasta bake with this. I've got some of these home style chips. These are under a pound. They're like 89p, but they're really, really nice. Two dusty yellow fin sole fillets and some fish fingers. I got two boxes of 15. I think these are £1.39, which is quite a good price. Got garlic and cheese pizza bread to go with the pasta bake. The usual four pints of semi skimmed milk. I got some freezer bags, but they only had small, so I was desperately in need, so I had to get them, but I usually buy the medium. Some Colgate, two tins of spaghetti hoops, because Oscar just loves them. He just is such a fan, <laughs> bless him. I got two tins of peeled plum tomatoes. And I also bought three tins of beef ravioli. If you do watch regularly, you'll know that I have bought some food flasks for the boys. We haven't actually used them yet because the last couple of weekends when we've been out, it's been really, really warm, so we haven't needed them. But this week's been really grey and wet, so I'm thinking I could heat this up, pop it in a food flask each with some bread and butter. And basically it's my ploy to get teenagers up and out of the house because food and bribery go hand in hand with teenagers, really. So anything that will get them joining in with their family members and not just becoming vampires who live in their bedrooms in the dark is good so i thought that might be a good thing um i got some sliced beetroot for salads some summer fruit double strength squash two sauces one onion and garlic and one tomato and basil i don't know why that says for meatballs because i can't see what the difference is between a sauce for like spaghetti or pasta and a sauce for meatballs but there you go same price just i guess some people will buy it specifically i've got some chunky nut crisp this is only one pound 15. some raisin and almond granola for oscar and bailey and steve quite like this some fiber yum which is probably a take off of the what are they called fiber one aren't they that's crafty little fiber yum salted caramel squares they're 86 calories and they're a lot cheaper than the fiber one i think the fiber one are almost four pound no almost three pound and these were like one pound nine i got some soft bake chocolate chip things these were again about one pound nine some caramel twix fakey biscuits which are again i think somewhere around a pound or under a pound i think five of those a loaf of bread for 34p this is a wholemeal one cedar burger buns we've got three lots of sour skittles for the boys some crisps so we've got some sweet chili like sun bites some ridge crisps and some french fries a fun fact i prefer these to the is it walkers i think it's walkers the actual original french fry crisps i find them really really hard and these are really soft and fluffy and they're a lot cheaper as well i got some free range eggs and also three of these naked katsu curry rice pots for the boys they were 59p each and a magazine so that's the free little shopping magazine and i spent 72 pound which when i've been spending about 120 130 is a huge saving i've got loads and loads of meat to put in the freezer so i'm really pleased with little at the moment and i forgot to sign into my app again my little plus app but i could have saved some money there as well i must do that now actually i'm going to stop this recording and go and do it because i keep forgetting to set it up because i had it set up on my old phone um, but then I got a new phone so I'm going to set that up and you can also save money that way so I think that was a really good price but what I will do now is take you through next week's meal plan so for next week's meal plan we go from Thursday through to Thursday so tonight I'm going to be making some pork mince mixed with peppers onions mushrooms and some cauliflower rice with lots of smoked paprika and seasonings tomorrow night is burger night the boys will have theirs in buns with cheese slices and some salad in them and then me and steve are going to have hot ours with some roasted vegetables saturday i'm going to do that filled tortellini pasta bake with garlic bread sunday we are having a slow cooker jambalaya we've got some smoked sausage and some chicken thighs to go in there monday i'm going to do a sausage like roast or sausage boiled potatoes with vegetables and gravy Tuesday, fish fingers, chips and beans, and Steve and I will have those lemon and herb dusted fish portions. And then Wednesday, there is leftover coconut curry in the freezer. So that is our meal plan for next week. So that is it for this week. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll be back really soon with another video. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.